And here are the fillies for that eighth race. Number one, Suncoast, owned by the Suncoast stable of Lexington. John Dewar trains, Steve Waller drives. Two is always victorious. Owned by the all Lanawavis Bar of Pompano Beach, Florida, Mario Zuanetti, the trainer driver. Three, my start, Chip, owned by Plum Creek Farms of Lebanon, New Jersey, by Bill Peretti of Cream Ridge, New Jersey. Chuck Sylvester trains, and John Campbell gets a call. Four, Georgia Pines, owned by Crimson Lane of Anderson, Indiana. Ross Turley, the trainer, Dave McGee, up. Five, Pan on Ceremony, owned by Peter Pan Stables, Inc. of Pepper Pike, Ohio. Ivan Sugg, the trainer, with Tony Morgan. Six, Spice on Ice, owned by Scuderia Gardasina of uh, Italy. John Johnson trains and drives. Seven, Hottest Star, owned by Tom Crouch of, Lexing of Lexington. Brian Pinsky of Downers Grove, Illinois. Pinsky trains with Andy Miller in the bike. And number eight, Glide Path, owned by Brittany Farms of Versailles, Kentucky. Ron Gerfine, the trainer. Mike Lachance, the driver. Here they come. They're often trotting from the outside. There goes Spice on Ice for the lead on the inside. Suncoast will get away second. Third is always victorious. Out fourth as they drive toward the uh, turn is my star chip to the inside trotting five. Georgia Pines as they race around the turn. Extreme outside, three wide now, trying to move up as they race that way is Glide Path. Glide Path as they uh, go toward the quarter. Suncoast is off stride. Glide Path is on the move. And the leader getting away from the, the field now by five lengths at the quarter mile mark. Trotting past it is Spice on Ice. She'll lead him down the back stretch. Front panel and 29 flat on the extreme outside. Continuing her drive toward the front. There goes Glide Path and Lachance. Now second on the inside. Trotting third as they straighten down the back stretch. And trot toward the half mile mark is My Star Chip. Racing fourth behind her. As they drive that way, as always victorious, trotting five, Georgia Pines, racing six is Pan on Ceremony, trotting next is Hottest Star, and at the back, after a break, is Suncoast. Field approaching the half-mile mark, the leader as they reach that station, and now trot past it toward the upper turn, and uh, race now into the upper turn by a length and a half, Glide Bath. Behind Glide Bath, Spice on Ice gets a trip second. The half was trotted in 58-2. They're headed toward the three-quarter. Glide Path maintains the advantage off the rail to the outside. Here comes My Star Chip moving up for Campbell. She's now second, racing toward the front. On the inside, Glide Path, and here comes My Star Chip full of trot. And back to the outside from the inside, moving up also as always victorious. They're at the three-quarter. They race past that mark in 127-2. They're at the top of the lane. This could be a season's record, and the new leaders they turn for home as my star chip they're three wide behind her far outside always victorious is moving and also spice on ice moves up as they race through the lane to the wire my star chip might have a season's mark closing on the outside is always victorious as they head this way drawing away my star chip and campbell has that filly rolling to the wire on the outside always victorious is second trotting third spice on ice four at the wire was georgia pines 157-1, it is a national season's record. It is my star chip. Winning Philly by the exported Pine Chip, who trotted to the 151 world race record for trotters, stood his career here in this country at Castle and Farm. Upon their dispersal last fall, he was exported to Scandinavia and leaves quite a crop of two-year-olds. In fact, in this race, they were 1-3-4. The Mr. Vic Philly always victorious, breaking that lock by Pine Chip Phillies. And the winner and season's champion now is uh, My Star Chip, the Pine Chip from My Starlet by Joie de Vie.